Good morning, grade 6. Today, our lesson, chapter 8, operations of fractions 5. Open your books and let's begin. You have as agenda to complete number 2, 3, and 4, page 89. First of all, activity E, mixed number, page 88. Write each of the following mixed numbers in the form of a fraction. So, Let's see. I have here method one. I have these forms. I have these two squares. This square is divided into 10 pieces. Here I have one whole piece. And how many pieces are colored here? I have one, two over 10. So I have here two over eight. Sorry, I have eight pieces. So here I have one whole piece. And here I have two over eight. So the number is one and two over eight so this is this is the mixed number that i have now how do i write it in a form of one fraction so one plus two over eight i write one plus two over eight i'm going to calculate the colored parts so one plus plus two over eight one is eight over eight because this part, this form is uh, distributed into eight parts. So the one is eight over eight. So I write eight over eight plus two over eight. Now I add the numerators. I have 10 over eight. So, so this is the one fraction. Now I have these two forms, these forms. So this form is divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 so this is 10 parts so I have here two whole parts and 4 over 10 so the number is 2 4 over 10 now I write 2 plus 4 over 10 2 is written as 20 over 10 because each part is divided into 10 small parts so 20 10 and 10 over 10 20 over 10 plus 4 over 10 is 24 over 10. Now I'm going to see another method. This method is, is easier and simpler than the other one. So look, what should I do? If I have 1, 2 over 8, keep the same denominator. So here I have over 8. So the denominator is 8. What should I do next? I write 8. What should I do next? multiply the integer by the denominator so I multiply 1 by 8 so I multiply 1 by 8 then the answer is 8 so then what should I do 8 I write 8 then I add the result to the numerator so 8 I add it to the numerator which is 2 so 8 plus 2 so now I have 10 over 8 Here I have another example. Let's see. I keep the denominator. I write over 10. Then I do 2 times 10. 2 times 10 is 20. 20 plus 4 is 24. So 24 over 10. Now let's do a small Practice page 89. Give the fractional writing of the following mixed numbers. Let's see. Here I have 3, 2 over 7. Remember, what should I do? The first step is to keep the denominator as it is, so I write over 7. Then I multiply 3 times 7. 3 times 7 is... 21 so I write 21 plus the numerator is 2 so 21 plus 2 the answer is 23 over 7 the second one number 3 write the following numbers in the form of a fraction so I'm going to write the numbers in a form of fractions let's see I have 5 plus 2 over 3 what should I do I should keep 
the denominator is 3 now I multiply 5 by 3 why I'm doing this because this is the same as a mixed number so this is the same as the mixed number so I'm going to calculate it as I'm calculating this so 5 times 3 is 15 15 plus 2 is 17 so 17 over 3 number 5 work out 3 2 over 5 times 2 4 over 9 what should I do here I have a mixed number and here I have a mixed number so I'm going to calculate each one apart then I calculate the multiplication first of all I'm going to write over 5 3 2 over 5 I'm going to calculate this one I'm going to transform it into one fraction so I write over 5 3 times 5 is 15 plus 2 17 over 5 so I write 17 over 5 now I have 2 4 over 9 what should I do I write over 9 2 times 8 is 18 plus 4 is 22 22 over 9 so I write 17 over 5 times 22 over 9 now I multiply the numerators together and the denominators together the answer is 374 over 45 now I'm going to calculate the second one 5 times 10 plus 3 5 times 10 is 50 plus 3 53 over 10 times 4 times 7 is 28 plus 2 is 30 so 30 over 7 now I multiply the numerators together and the denominators together I have I can write 30 as 3 times 10 now I can simplify by 10 so the answer will be 159 over 7. Now I have 6, 2 over 3, divided by 2, 3 over 8, 11. I'm going to multiply 6 by 3. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 2 is 20, so 20 over 3. Divided by 2 times 11 is 22, plus 3 is 25, so 25 over 11. Now I write 20 over 3 times 11 over 25. Now I multiply the numerators together and denominators together. 20 I can write it as 2 times 2 times 5 and 25 as 5 times 5. Now I can simplify by 5. The answer is 44 over 15. Now, 7 times 3 plus 1. 7 times 3 is 21. Plus 1 is 22. So 22 over 3. Divided by 8 times 4. 8 times 4 is 32 plus 1 33 so 33 over 4 the division is transformed into multiplication so 22 over 3 multiply by 4 over 33 so I'm going to write the inverse of the second fraction now I can write 22 as 2 times 11 22 is written 2 times 11 and 33 and 4 is 2 times 2 33 is 3 times 11 now I multiply the numerators together the denominators together now I can simplify by 11 look I simplify by 11 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 over 9 Thank you, my students. Don't forget to do your agenda. Bye-bye.